There are horror stories about indie devs working with the publisher, and those publishers scam them. I never work with publishers because I have no trust in them or its system. This is how publishers work in the realm of the game development. Either you, the game developer, contact the publisher because you need funding, or the publishers themselves contact you through email, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, whatever to get in contact with you. Sometimes publishers will hire a contractor, pretty much some marketing dude that has years of experience in the game industry space. Could be anything, community management, public relations, social media marketing, the list goes on. When a publisher becomes interested in your game, they'll talk to you and set up an appointment. What they are mostly interested in is how big of a wish list the game has, because that's what publishers want to see, how much money they can make. That's all they care about. That's fine, it's business. Once they get what they want to hear, they ask when the game's going to be released, because they want to hear how soon they can get paid. Again, that's fine, it's business. The next step after all the talks, the niceness, the smiles, the negotiations happen. And this is where I see a problem with the publishers. Right now, indie game developers should be extremely wary of publishers that offer a 50-50 split when they only offer to market your game. Traditionally, publishers take on a 30% split. They give you a large sum of money for milestones that the game has accomplished, and they market for you as well. But indie developers don't get that at all, and they only get marketing, and the publishers will sweet talk to you about this is a great deal. They will try to convince you that that's all you need because they have the network, they have the resources. They're taking risk to promote your game. That's not true at all. These publishers aren't taking risk at all because marketing is a zero dollar budget in today's game industry. Everything is online. If you want to market, Post a YouTube video, post it on Instagram or Twitter, make a TikTok video. But it'll take a while for you to get your desired community, and you have to be consistent with your marketing. This is what publishers would do if you sign a 50-50 split in just marketing. And most times, you can't even check if they're doing their job. It's not worth it. A good publisher will translate your game and hire a professional translator, fund your game, market your game using paid ads, Port your game to other consoles at their expense and help you participate in conventions or festivals. A good publisher should provide support to help the game grow further. A bad publisher would work on promises. They will translate your game using free software or free community labor, basically unprofessional. They would not give you a single dime to your game. They will promise you that they will market your game, but won't tell you exactly how and will give you a grand speech of, trust me, I know people, I've been doing this for years. The publishers will feel uncomfortable giving out their clients details to do a background check on them to see if they're legit. The publishers won't state what they will promise in their contract, and they will hide whatever else they are doing from you from your back, basically misinforming you until you sign the contract. Your job is to figure it out, and the best indicator is to check the publisher's game list on Steam. If they don't have any games under their belt, that's a red flag. If they don't have a lot of reviews on the games they've published, that's a red flag. Look at the community in each game the publisher has worked on, and see what the community has to say about the game. Talk to the developers directly as well, because he or she could give you a really good insight about working with this publisher. I know two horrible stories that have signed up with bad publishers. One is the Outbound Ghost, which is an indie game that has been released recently. And another one is called The Sinking City, which is almost like a AAA game. Both of these games had DMC their own games in order to prevent the shady publishers from stealing their work and profiting off of them. The story is crazy, but it happens and probably happens more times than we know since a lot of the indies out there don't have a strong voice to ask for help. They get buried from the fear of publishers, or nobody cares about that particular developer. This is pretty much why I never work with publishers. There are too many bad publishers out there, and the deals they want to make are never in favor for the indie developers. It's always in the favor of the publishers. The indie developers don't know that because they get suckered in. They don't have the experience or guidance from the other experienced game developers. I've been through these experiences. 
And this is why Harvest Island is self-published, is to protect me from damages caused by bad publishers, and to protect the gamers when a publisher tries to take advantage of the game when all they want is money.